it's Hannah and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tack room tour because you guys have been requesting it a lot lately and if you guys have been following me for a while you would know that when we moved here last year um, we did not have a tack or a feed room so I was having to keep my feed and tack within a horse trailer and um, just in several different places um, so I'm super super thankful that we finally have a tack and feed room and it's not completely finished yet um, there are still some things that we want to do to it and everything like that but you guys have been really wanting to see kind of what it looks like so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys um, kind of what it looks like right now and all of this wood like on the outside um, is all like recycled wood so it's wood that we got for free and wood that we already had um, so we did not really have to buy anything to make the tacking feeder so if you guys are trying to build something try to go like online and try and um, see if anybody's giving away free wood or drive around and see if there's any like thrown out or whatever. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let's just get into it. Okay, so this is the tack and feed room door and my mom made the sign that is on the door and I absolutely love it. And this gate is where we normally come in at um, because our house is right there, so it's closer. But there's also a gate over there that leads to the pasture. So when you first walk in, on the right, on the outside, I have the three rope halters, um, which Levi's is being used right now. But I have the two mares right there. And I just have them hanging there because those are the ones that I use the most. So I just have them there so I can quickly grab them. And then the door is right here. And then moving along this side, I have this um, sign that says blue jeans on it that my mom made. And this is actually the halter and lead rope that I brought her home in. Um, I don't use it, but I think it's just sentimental to have it here. Um, so yeah, that's what she came home in. And then over there, I just have Levi's or um, ladies turnout blanket. Okay, so when you walk in... Okay, so when you walk in, this is what it looks like i'm just going to give you guys a quick overview of it and then i'll go in a little detail okay so that's what it looks like and then and like i said like there are still things like we want to do um to it like i want to add a window right there it's already framed for a window but i want to add a window right there um but when you walk into the right this is where we keep our hay and in those tupperwares i keep some extra feeders um, and some extra lead ropes and things like that and then we have a cooler there and a bin there that I keep um, baby chicks in when I have those and then our hay is there um, ignore that like we have some tools right there and then I have some twine here because I keep most of the twine and then down here we have a nest um, when the birds free range um, a couple of them lay there and then our duck lays in that nest as well. We have um, some Timothy grass and then here I have an extra bucket and um, an extra grooming tote. And then up here on these little shelves um, and here I have my tape, um, like my tape measure for the horses, like a height and weight tape. And I have like syringes and stuff like miscellaneous um, medical things in there. And then um, here I have a scrub brush with um, some vinegar. And up here I have some SWAT, Fierism, Wonder Dust, um, sunscreen, Benadine, Fly Spray, and Detangular Spray. And then here I have my grandmother's grooming tote. And down here is um, one of the bead buckets. And that is a grooming tote that we use um, like on a daily basis. And right here in this three drawer thing, I have a majority of our grooming supplies. And then on top is kind of like seasonal um, grooming things. So I have like the metal curry combs that I use for um, shedding season, like sweat scrapers, um, gel curry comb for bathing, and like um, mane and tail shampoo and conditioner. And then in the top drawer, we have our soft brushes and body brushes, face brushes, um, and we have an extra comb. And then in the second drawer, we have our dandy brushes, like hard brushes, in there. And then in the bottom one, we have um, our facial curries, um, curry cones, gel curries, and 
um, hoof picks. And then moving on this way, um, this is where we keep our feed and things like that. Um, I still have to get another, um, what you call it, like trash can for this feed right here. Um, so we have beet pulp, corn, um, um, oyster shells are in there, rabbit feeds in there, chicken feed, alfalfa pellets, blue jeans, and Levi's feed and ladies feed. And there we have some diatomaceous earth that I have to put in um, the Tupperware. We just brought it out here. Um, right before I started filming, so I still have to put that in its um, Tupperware. Okay, so up here I have the feed scoops, um, some saddle soap, and here I have some supplements for the chickens and some mineral oil, and then um, I have the fly masks up here. There I have um, blue jeans bell boots, um, and then I have some dry race markers for our whiteboard, but I have not hung up our whiteboard yet. That is the Tupperware that the diatomaceous earth goes in. I still have to put that in there. And then we have an extra grooming tote. In this back corner, I have some rakes and pitchforks and brooms and stuff like that. Just right here, I have some feed bags that I use as, like, trash cans. So those are almost full, so I have to throw those away. And then right here, we have um, our saddle rack. One of the saddle racks, anyway. Um, on the bottom is my grandmother's saddle and her saddle pad and then that is my um the first saddle that i got um which is the saddle that came with blue jeans and on top i have um an english saddle that um one of levi's old owners um gave to me and then here we have um some of our english pads and cinches and girths and things and that is lila's english saddle we have some extra boards here. We still have to add a board down there to match this side. Um, but these are some of the boards that we use to build the talk room with. We just have not taken them out yet. Um, and then moving this way, um, I have two uh, Blue Jeans nylon halters that I use um, a lot. And um, I have my newer saddle. Um, and then I have my helmet. And then I have Blue Jeans and Ladies bridles right here. And then there's Lila's saddle, and above that I have my rope in one of Levi's nylon halters. Um, and then right by the door I have um, my lunge line, and there we have some hay nets. So yeah, that was our tack and feed room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!